There we go, dead. Oh! Oh! Oh, headshot! Did I miss that guy? Welcome to my Golden Games, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This episode, we're picking up where we left off in the last episode, continuing with the main story, where I believe we're going to be doing something for the Native Americans and trying to help them out somehow. So let's get over here and speak with them and see what we actually need to do. Excuse me. Uh, hello. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. American but Father's that guest that parted. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. What? Uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will Just lead to war. Just three years ago. Wow. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and oh, the state government Leviticus claiming Cornwall. huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Ooh, well, How much? In that case. I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator, we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. All right, Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. <laughs> Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. OK, then. Meet Eagle flies near Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. So it looks like we are going to have to wait a few days, so we'll just continue with the next main story mission. Yep. Where we got Mr. Trelawney right down the road, actually. So we'll go down here and see what he has for us for the next quest. But again, hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. If you do enjoy it, hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing, if you haven't already. And you know, let me know in the comments below what you think. What? Whoa, what's going on? What? What did she dump on them? I missed something. I have no idea what she dumped on them. On. Was it a uh, spittoon? That'd be pretty disgusting. Or was it like a bucket of shit? I have no idea what she did to them. Uh, looks like I could probably leave my horse here. All right, midnight, you be a good boy and stay, all right? Good, good night, good, good night. Okay, coming through, man, coming through. 
So let's get over this way. I think we just got to go right up here. Ah, come through, man. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad, my bad. Oh, shoot. I am so sorry. Is there some I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Some kind of joker, huh? I apologize. Whoa. Oh, what? Disturbing the bad news. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, I'm just gonna. Dang it. That's not good. Let me see if I can try and stop. Thank you. Miss, miss, miss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. Miss, stop. No, no, I apologize. Oh, shoot. Now the cappers are coming. All right, I'll just wait here and see if I could talk to them. Get the law over here. Man, hey, I apologize for okay. it. Hello. Consider uh, hey, here. officer, right, right over here, man. I was running a little too quick and I accidentally bumped into somebody. I apologize. Good. Calm down. What the hell's going on here? Like I said, I was well, running. Best if you left. Oh, now get. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Oh. Okay, he's having me leave. Awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm just gonna get on my horse and uh, we'll have to come okay, back later. Oh. Okay, we are heading back now, and it looks like there's a storm approaching. Oh man, look at that! It is a bad storm approaching. Oh man. Um, let's try. Let's try and get inside before we get Hello. soaked. What an idiot. We're trying not to run into anybody this time. Hey guys, come Hello, through. Sir. Coming through. Excuse me. Man, you can hear the wind too. Oh man. There's Mr. Trelawney right here, I believe. Okay, Mr. Trelawney, what's going on, man? What you got for me? Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, Mitch we're going to need there. to get you smartened Fine, up a nice bit. Do bucker, eh? Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Hey, good. We're going course. inside. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. How windy it is. Jeez. We got a hurricane or something moving in, I think. Hello, can I help By you, the gentlemen? fine three-piece yes, pound suit. My friend here tailor. is in need of a new suit. Okay. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So let's get into the catalog. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. All right. So the three It was the English's piece. fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. All right, so is this the suit I need to buy? Apparently. So it's free, so that's good. I can't choose the color, though, which kind of sucks, but okay. A very good choice, sir. Okay, I guess we're done. That's it. It is a nice-looking suit. Come on, Thank you, sir. let's get you to the barber. Sure. All right, let's go. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Herr Strauss really nice has scoped the whole suit. thing out. Ooh, it's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. Hmm? You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. Okay. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. Okay. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense okay. is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, <laughs> but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I True. hope so. Come on! Okay, so we gotta get into the tailor, get a nice haircut going on. I'm gonna keep my beard growing, because that thing my is good beautiful man. and Could delicious. you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Um, hello, yes, I need a haircut. 
this unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. All right, so let's see. Swapped back fate is fine. Make him look like a prince, sir. So we will have it trimmed down to level two. That's good. We'll have it pomaded. And wait, uh, there. Okay, so we'll have it cut to length two and pomaded. So that should be good. Now, do I have to cut my beard? I don't really want to do that. Is that good? Am, am I good now? Ooh, there, very that smart. Nice, thank you. Come on, let's get to the box. Yes, I've arranged good. some transportation for us. Oh, thank you. Ooh, beautiful looking horse. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, mister. Ah, oh, nice seat. Here comes. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. All right. So well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Oh, yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. <laughs> You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. Okay, it's a good. man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, good Arthur. Work. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. Well, what could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Well, hopefully my what card playing, playing skills are, are Don't still good. Worry. That been has a while all been arranged. Been. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ooh, there's the boat. Ah, there she is. Beautiful. Come on. Boat. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. There are searchers when we get on. Mm. George, we'll collect these from you later. Ooh, very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Oh, there's my gun. And it ain't you. All right, now let's go on in. I feel I so said, naked Arthur. without my gun. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. I sure hope so. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Oh, yes. Come yes. on. Yes. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Hello dear you. boy. They do have a lot come of cards. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Yes, Champagne. come on, men, let's go. Let's have a lovely time tonight. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I left it in my stagecoach. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. <laughs> These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever <laughs> you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? All right, so it looks like we need to go over here to the table. Excuse me, boys, excuse me. All we right. have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Yes, I shall sit down. Thank Good you. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, 
unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope right. you're a player. Been too many so cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. <laughs> exactly. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, okay. sir. I'll call. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Let's see. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see cool. about that. Just go all in. To hell with it. I think I'm gonna have to fold. I'm going to fold. Now, nah, I'm out. Think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. I think maybe Here I we should. Go, then. Damn, everybody went all in. What the well, heck? Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Okay. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Yes, Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, yes. Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? The oil business. I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. <laughs> you know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I'll call. I just look better in a suit. I would uh, stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. I think I'll race. You sound just like my wife. All right, let's see what we got on the table. Okay. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. All in? What? All right, I'll call. call. Here you go. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. King. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. One, nice. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, Meaning I heard... What? Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. Ooh, An expensive watch. one. Real fine. Swiss. Ooh. A Reutlinger, no less. Ooh. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Oh. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Uh, I, of course, I do. we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Okay, so I got a pair of kings. I am 100% all, all in, what? Mr. Callahan. Bro. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Okay, I'll go well, all in. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. A thousand dollars. Pair of kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Damn. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. Oh, God oh, oh, damn you! Oh, wait! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, Ooh. but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? All right, let's go. Gentlemen, oh, please, please cash these here. out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank, Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. 
Come with me, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. You're having quite the night. Oh, I sure am. Yeah, so Pretty far. Pretty lucky tonight. I cannot well, believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but uh. fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver Ooh. right here. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh man, look at the water. Damn, this is such a beautiful game. Hopefully you guys are like enjoying the episode water, so far. Sir. If you do, I hit that like button and let me know what you thought really in the comments below. And maybe you can just subscribing if you haven't already. Made, but you can't have everything. Man, this is a beautiful boat. Well, here we are. All right. So this is where the safe is, huh? Okay. I expect my Just watch. Just give me one second, sir. Yes, of, course, of course, take of your course. time. <laughs> Come on, take Don't him out. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Disarm. Give me that weapon. Thank you. I guess you were Stay right. Down. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. I got a new gun, apparently. Idiot, Was it a huh? show field? Whoa! Dead. I could have disarmed him, but I killed him. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's I got it. Here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. Yep. You in here is looking pretty good. On, How much is it? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Uh, let's grab the sure. gun. Sure. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. Can I not if grab my look. gun? Apparently, I can't grab the gun. Okay. So I'll just follow Javier then. Is that a gun shot? It sounded like one. Come on. We're good, boys. We're good. I, I didn't see anything. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. I don't know. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Eh. No garnish, no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. <laughs> anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Yep. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. Shit. To the bar, senor! <laughs> come on, come on, we gotta keep moving. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> I <laughs> sure did. the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. He's not a no good cheat. Ah, good. Your friend is right over here. Hello, Mr. Trelawney. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> there he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> oh, shoot. That ain't good. Take cover. Take cover, boys. Get out of the way, buddy. Dead. Dead. Nope, nope. Dead. dead. Oh, 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 headshot. Oh, right in the mouth. Whoop, 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 let's uh, pop. And let's just, uh, did I, did I come on, pop, 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 there we go, dead. Oh, 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 headshot. Did I miss that guy? I might have missed that one guy. There we go, he's dead. You ain't your trust, take cover, man. And he's dead. Ooh. We need to get out of here. Get okay, moving up. I hope you a suggest. I don't oh. know, this ain't my show. Taking Silly me, I clean forgot to. Ow. Shoot. Ow, ow, ow. Give me the rifle. Boom! Uh, got another guard? Okay. Headshot. Archer, come on! Ow! Archer, come on! We gotta go! This guy there. Okay, let's go. Damn it! We got these guards. We gotta go! Come on! Cover me, cover me, guys. I'm getting shot. Ow, ow, I'm about to die, boys. Give me some cover. Are you coming? Ow, coming. 
Ow, I'm bleeding out, boys. Jumping in the water? What are we doing? Oh, for Christ's sake! Where are we going? Why did we jump in the water? What the heck's going on? Trying to swim for it. What? Why didn't we jump on like a, a, a lifeboat or something? Oh, well, geez. never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Whew. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right, come on, we'll give let's it get back out of here. <laughs> It's my watch. Damn. $6,000, gang share $3,000, my share $825. Not a bad score. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I thought this was a freaking awesome mission. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure to hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up. Take it easy, guys.